Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to your next C Sharp Made Easy tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be learning about uh, getting console input. And in order to get console input, we are going to have to use the string type. Now, the, um, I never introduced this in the last tutorials because the string type is, is, is essentially a reference type that acts like a value type and we'll learn the, the difference between uh, reference types uh, value types and pointer types in a um, much later tutorial um, but it is not like the traditional variable that you will see and we'll learn more about strings later I'm gonna have a whole section on strings uh, so hopefully you can work look forward to that the reason why strings deserve, deserve their own um, area uh, is because strings are very important say you're making a parser or whatever they're very important in general and um, just to learn how they work internally is is uh, pretty good as well um, so what we're going to do in order to create a string you just type string and um, we're just going to put the value name and it, it, it takes a string of characters. So instead of using single quotes like chars, we use double quotes. So I'm just gonna put Peter is, and um, so that's not an appropriate variable name, but whatever. I'm just gonna put awesome, and type uh, for is awesome, and let's say the statement is equal to name plus awesome. And so if we write this to the screen, so, oh, sorry, we want to write the statement. So if we write this, as you can see, it concatenates the string. So we'll say uh, name plus awesome. So Peter is awesome. Well, what if we try to do like minus, like we did with the integers and floats, we try to do divide we try to do multiply it doesn't work um, and um, we'll see why in uh, later tutorials but for now for strings the only uh, operator for that we can use the basic operators we can use with it is the plus that will add two strings together uh, so now that we know how uh, a basic overview of the string of how strings work uh, now we're actually going to get some user input so we're going to prompt the user to enter their name, so please enter your name. And what we're going to do is we're going to say name, and we're going to see something familiar that we've been using uh, so far, console reline. So console reline will read a line, and then when you click enter, or read a line of text, when you click enter, it will assign that value to our name right there. Uh, so if we were to write the line, we'll say name is an awesome name. And we'll have a console read line. So now let's run this. And it says, please enter your name. I'm going to put Peter, let's put Peter Honey. That's my full name. Peter Henry is an awesome name, so it reads the whole uh, line of text, and when you click enter, uh, then it's going to display this, so it took my name that I entered. So uh, that's cool, but let's say I wanted to read um, like uh, read a number or something like that. Well, in C Sharp, there's no real built-in way to read in a number or something like that. Uh, so what we have to do is use the converter class. Now, uh, now I don't expect you to learn, know everything about the converter class, but um, if you wanted to get, say, uh, please enter your age, right? We could read it as a string if we want, but say you want to store it as an integer, this is, it returns a string, right? And we learn about returning values and stuff, but this represents a string, so we need to convert it to an integer. So we're going to say convert dot to int 32 and we'll wrap it around with the uh, braces and the convert int 32 takes in a string value as we can see in the in the brace in the brackets 
Uh, so we pass a string value, which read line is, it's a string value. And so we'll convert that to an integer. So, uh, like this right there. And then to your age, uh, so 21, 21 is an awesome age. Now note that if you put in something different, so we'll say you put in like a string, as you can see, we'll get an error uh, because it is expecting to convert that string into an integer, but it has invalid characters. And we'll learn um, in, uh, yeah, in the next tutorial how to make decisions and blah, blah, blah. And then we'll learn about how we should get valid values uh, so that we won't get screwed over if the user enters bad values. But anyways, this is it for this tutorial. So we know how to get user input. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching and bye for now.